Here's Mary. Thank you, Willard. Well, last week we said that last week we'd have a report on shrimp farming. We lied, but it was just a shrimp of a lie because we have it today. Science correspondent Robert Pazell is with us today that, to tell us that science is providing some relief from expensive shrimp cocktails by creating a new industry called shrimp farming. That's right, and all those cowboys are going to get on their seahorses and ride off into the sunset. One of the great hopes for increasing the world's protein supply is being able to grow things we usually have to hunt for in the sea. Researchers at Texas A&M University think they may have tamed the wild shrimp. A fisherman casts his net at dawn. An idyllic scene, except he is not a fisherman. He's a scientist at Texas A&M University's research station in Corpus Christi. These ponds are the prototype of what the scientists hope will become a huge industry in this country, shrimp farming. Shrimp is the most valuable species caught by America's fishermen. But even though America's shrimp boats bring in a half billion dollars worth a year, we import two times that much. There are no more shrimp out there to catch. In fact, it may be decreasing. The market is increasing. What is the solution? The only solution is to farm them. In the past few years, the Texas A&M scientists have made farming of Native American shrimp possible by learning how to breed the creatures in captivity. In these tanks, mature males and females are watched closely. The scientists regularly check the salinity and temperature of the water. They feed the shrimp chopped up squid. The research team, headed by Addison Lawrence, learned if they remove one of the female shrimp's eyes, she ovulates more quickly. That is because certain hormones which regulate ovulation are produced by glands in the stack which supports the eye. When a female is ovulated, the eggs appear as dark bands in her body. The scientists are trying to learn the best way to breed the shrimp. Sometimes with a type of shrimp surgery, they artificially inseminate the female. Once the female is pregnant, she must be put in a tank so the others do not eat her offspring. Each female then produces up to 100,000 microscopic larvae. In the oceans, fewer than 1% of these survive. But here about 25% make it, metamorphosing into tiny shrimp. When they are about this size, they are placed into outdoor ponds to grow into a size suitable for the table. That takes about five months. To harvest the shrimp, the scientists simply drain the pond, filtering the effluent through a net. For now, they must work at night so they can get the shrimp before seagulls do. The head of the program estimates that shrimp farming could yield a profit of $6,000 an acre. He thinks the industry has a bright future. We import so much shrimp, and there's so much, such a large market out there that I think that, that shrimp farming can become an industry here without harming an existing one. Same time, increase the economy of, of many regions of, of the United States and decrease that large negative balance of payments. The first batches from the Texas A&M experiment have been sold to a local packing house, which has been selling them under a special gourmet label. The owner likes the new product. Uh, I detect the sweeter taste and perhaps the, the texture is a little more firm, yet a tender. So it's, it's a high quality product. And in our own taste test, we took some shrimp to a popular local seafood restaurant, which deep fried them and served them to some customers who were quite satisfied. The scientists say farming could transform the shrimp from a delicacy to a common part of our diet. I am so glad I have both eyes after seeing that well, report. A lot of people are glad you're not a shrimp, too. So. <laughs> now, how did they think, seriously, how do scientists think of things like taking away an eye to make a shrimp ovulate? Yeah, that's something that's distinct to the shrimp. They found out about it because the shrimp, when they put them in those big uh, p ponds, those, they go around in circles, and they accidentally knocked off one eye, and they noticed that the ones that knocked off the eye, the females, ovulated quickly. Did you taste these shrimp? Yeah, and they're really good. They've got, uh, they don't have a vein in them like the ones in the ocean, so you don't have to clean them, and anybody who ever cooks shrimp would be very happy to hear that. What do you think that's going to mean in terms of prices for consumers, ultimately? Well, for now, the price isn't going to come down because it's really short, but th that $6,000 an acre figure is amazing. Cattle, cotton, three or $400 an acre, here t you're talking many times that. I think it will be a big Industry. Robert Bazell, thank you for joining us in your fascinating shrimp report. Up next on After 8, the president's campaign against crime and violence in our schools. But first, this is today on NBC.